uh, while we continue to track uh, the oxygen shortage, there is a hearing that is taking place uh, in the Delhi High Court. There are several hospitals, remember, that have petitioned uh, the Delhi High Court. The Delhi government has uh, said in the High Court that Inox is a producer, transporter and distributor. Inox has a complete chain, but our allocation from Inox has been reduced. Um, this is the claim that's being made by Delhi government for transportation. Again, we are made to rely on Inox. The Delhi government says in the Delhi High Court, it's utter chaos. It has to be organized. The Delhi government says that if we are to give 10 metric tons to a hospital, we are only giving one metric ton. The Delhi government says if we don't get 480 metric tons, the situation will collapse like we've seen in the last 24 hours, something disastrous will happen. Delhi claims, uh, the Delhi government claims it got only 297 metric tons of oxygen yesterday. The Delhi government's also said in court that the flow from production unit to end point needs to be streamlined. The transportation is not stopped at the roads as uh, it's visible, but we have got to know now that oxygen is diverted at source. Uh, which means that the allegation that the Delhi government is levelling here, and you heard that from the Amadi Party spokesperson just moments ago as well, is that oxygen is being diverted elsewhere and not to Delhi. That's a huge allegation that's being made. The High Court has said that we are not going to spare anyone. Uh, we are clear about it. We will take strict action. The centre has said that the confusion is at the local supply in Delhi. There is intervention at the local level which is disrupting the end supply. So there is clearly a blame game that is going on. The Delhi High Court, meanwhile, is hearing the matter and has reiterated that they're not going to spare anyone. They are clear about it and strict action will be taken. So a hearing currently underway in the Delhi High Court over the oxygen crisis. My colleague Arvind Gunasekar is reporting on it. Uh, we'll continue to track that story for you very closely.